Hey everyone, welcome back. So, I don't really cover these kinds of builds, but well, after experimenting around yesterday and planning out my next few videos to make up for the draughts, we uh, stumbled across yet another broken Limbo build. I looked around a bit and I've yet to find this exact iteration, but well, most of us already know what Limbo's base kit works like. He's literally asking for broken interactions with how he works. I'm honestly more surprised this one hasn't picked up more notice before. As you can probably tell by the length of this video, there isn't too much going on here, so let's jump right in. First things first, this is an infinite scaling build. That's right, all the way to level cap. And ironically, this is basically shared between all broken limbo builds. They all have some weird interaction that manages to get past the standard difficulty curve of the game, and somehow doesn't give a shit about game mechanics. Hell, you don't even need the primer on this loadout unless you're looking to go into scaling endurance or level cap. I almost don't want to show the build because of how uncreative it feels. Anyways, the elements are pretty simple. A Limbo, an Optional Primer, a Rapier, and a Kubro. You probably already know where this is going, so let's just look at that Limbo build first. Surprise! It's a Mecha Stat build. But don't leave just yet. This is a literally invincible Mecha Stat build. Unless you intentionally choose to, it is physically impossible for you to die. Like, seriously. The build is so brain dead that you just sit around until he can nuke the room again. Is this the most fun build to play? Not necessarily. Does it work? Absolutely. Probably almost too well. So how does it work? Well, Prime sure-footed because reasons. I don't know, if you forget to stasis enemies in the rift, this can cause you problems if a bombard or heavy gunner is near you, but also because I'm bringing an epitaph primer to apply as many statuses as possible to our unfortunate patient zero if we choose to use it. The key point on this build is rift torrent. It seems to have some really weird interaction with finisher damage. Look at this, 100k force slash finisher. What if I banish a couple enemies and then rift torrent them? Just keep in mind you need to be in rift to get the rift torrent bonus. And now we get a 2 million force slash finisher. Now if something somehow actually survives this, then well now it's going to be eating 2 million bleeds every tick. Cool. Now we know the raw damage potential to build at base. I could have used my epitaph also. Let's move on. The build obviously needs to stack some strength to get better scaling on how much base damage you get per enemy rift torrented. So we piled on Umbral Intensify, Transient Fortitude, and Augur Secrets to get 66% base damage per enemy. We want enemies to stay frozen and rifted for a while, so we also need some duration. This is accomplished with Narrow Minded, giving us a 26 second freeze and a 43 second banish. Arcane Strike so we can offload attack speed from our melee. It is used to speed up finisher animations, which can reach a max speed of 50% or higher attack speed bonus. This frees up a slot on the weapon for more finisher build damage. Arcane Fury is more damage. Energy isn't a problem because you spend majority of the time hiding in the rifts. You can also stack this with Xenric, and efficiency is neutral. You also won't be spamming abilities as much and the most expensive casts are just 50 energy. Also the rotation lasts 15 seconds so you have a ton of time to decide what you want to do. Now if you don't know, the mecha set at max bonus has a 30 meter nuke radius. An enemy is marked every 15 seconds for 12 seconds. If you kill them, it applies all status effects on them to all enemies within 30 meters. Basically we want to buff ourselves as much as we can when we kill this enemy to propagate the damage to everyone else. We need to rift enemies to get rift torrent bonus or freeze them. Therefore, the only time we get get damage is when we come out of the rift to put enemies into the rift. Well, this is solved with radio blind. Why Radio Blind? This is an on-demand radial, well, blind. But it does not use line of sight. It will blind all enemies with direct line of sight as well as any enemies that have quote-unquote recently seen you. It also has base 25 meter radius around you. Breach Surge, on the other hand, actually requires direct line of sight to blind and only has base 18 meter radius. Damage is not a problem on this build, we only want utility to safely come in and out of the rift. Because Radial Blind does not require line of sight, it is perfect for this usage. You want to be able to control when and where enemies enter and leave rift, which is why we subsumed over Cataclysm. Basically, keep your two up at all times. When you want to get more enemies into the rift to stack Rift Torrent, which will feel your finisher damage, you cast Radial Blind first, then come out the rift, spam your one on a bunch of enemies, and then go back into the rift. Now, why 99% range? Because Mecha Set has a 30 meter radius nuke, like I said. You do not want to blind enemies beyond 30 meter of your marked target when going in for the kill, because this will stop enemies from passing into the 30 meter kill radius. Therefore, 99% range with Stretch and Augur Reach keeps blind at 25 meters and offers a little leeway on dealing with a marked target. The number one problem with the Mecha Set builds is that it's inconsistent, and you can only nuke once every 15 seconds. Well, Limbo fixes all of that. 
because you can hide in your rift, literally doing buttfuck nothing, until the next mark appears. I didn't say this is necessarily a fun build, did I? But it also highlights the issues with builds like these, where you literally don't need any effort at all to make it work. You alternate between nuking and then downtime of picking your nose and maybe rifting more enemies for rift torrent with radio blind. So let's say you've rifted enough enemies to stack some rift torrent, and a marked enemy appears on your screen. Well, make sure your 2 is up. If it is expiring, recast it now. Now you go up to that marked enemy, you cast Radio Blind. You go out of Rift, you banish the target. You go back into Rift. Prime has his ass with Epitaph if you want to apply a boatload of status. Perform a front finisher with your rapier. Congratulations. Now watch everything die around you in a 30 meter radius and you are now free to just chill for another 15 seconds until the next target gets marked. Sure, you can use blinds to start stacking Rift Torrent again. I'm putting this video up because while I don't like it, I'm pretty sure there are some people out there that do want builds like these. Just don't tell me you're gonna use it. This is a build I made regretfully, but here it is. The melee distress a prime. Why a rapier? Because the front stab has a 8 times 2 multiplier and 4 slash. Most standing finishers do not have 4 slash. This 4 slash will get passed on through mecha set and is what will destroy all the enemies around you. Front finishers, and well all finishers except ground finishers, do true damage, so you can guarantee stuff is dead if Rift Torrent is in play. The elements you pick don't matter. You just want the highest possible percentage because health types aren't factored in. Now you may be wondering why this build has both Condition Overload and Prime Pressure Point. That's easy, because actually I'm showing you two builds at the same time. If you want to use a primer before the finisher, use Condition Overload and replace Prime Pressure Point with a 90% elemental. If you don't want to primer, then replace Condition Overload with a 90% elemental. Rest of the build is just crits, Bane for slash bleeds double dipping, and Finishing Touch for 60% extra multiplicative finisher damage. Sacrificial Steel because it lets us hit guaranteed crits without needing to rely on any combo. You can literally AFK those 15 seconds between stabs. The primer? Epitaph. You can also use a beam. Basically, you want to apply a bunch of status and you also want to apply a lot of viral. Beams work too. Kuva Nugar and Impact would work nicely with Hemorrhage since you are only hitting the enemy with Distreza once, so the pre slash procs being present from Hemorrhage is a true bonus proc with the Impact for CO scaling. There's literally nothing special going on here. Finally, grab a Kubro. It doesn't matter which one. You'll be hiding in Rift when not setting up for the kill or Rift torrenting. Your pet follows you in and out of the rift, so 99% of the time it will also be invincible. It can still draw aggro though, which can be useful for grouping enemies. You just need these two mecha mods on them to max out the set bonus. Literally none of the other mods matter on the build, but Radar is nice, and Medipet and Loyal Companion are useful if your Kubro somehow downs if you screw up. You can res your Kubro in rift even if it died out of rift, so always do that if you have to. Fetch for obvious reasons. Now, why am I using a Vizier Predizite? Because it's the only form of Kubro I have, and it was made for the Orphix Venom operation. That's the full loadout. You could have honestly picked any Kubro. I'll leave you with the footage on Steel Pass showcasing this meme. Feel free to use this build as you see fit. Maybe you'll find it more entertaining than I did. If this is your first time watching, feel free to leave like, or better yet, subscribe. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. 79.5% of you are not subscribed. I'm trying my best to get you new information out always as soon as possible, like I've done with covering the Sisters of Parvels and Plague Star updates. Stick around if you want to see interesting memes and builds on a nearly daily basis. I'm also preparing to get you the info first once more new war info drops. You don't want to miss out on any of that, do you? That'll be it for this video. Thank you all for watching, and see you all next time.